in Queensland, 20 people. So we've got a few people coming over tonight. Um, my mum and dad's come up from Gundawindi, which they'll, they'll love that. And also have um, Em's mum and dad and a couple of friends, um, family friends that are coming for dinner as well. So this <laughs> stupid amount of meat <laughs> for the people that are coming um but that's okay we'll have plenty for leftovers and we'll do something with that and i might even do a video on that but hey um yeah no keen as mustard to have you on board for this video make sure you like and subscribe to the channel um tell your mates about the channel if they're into um barbecue cooking especially like that that low and slow sort of barbecue cooking and also camping we've got a weekend plan next weekend down at I can't wait to film a bit of that and do some fire camping out there. The fire cooking, sorry, out there and some fire camping. just at the end of that rack of ribs and I'll use that for another night something else with a pork belly bow buns or something I'll show you that um, and then I want to take the skin off and the fat off this bit so we can cook it as, uh, as ribs and, and then chop them up tonight as ribs we've got some people coming over for a barbecue so that'll be fantastic so we'll take this off first make sure your knife is um, nice, and nice and sharp should be able to just run it down of that packet and we'll slide this pork belly out. Try to keep the juice as we can on this board. All right, put that in up there. Okay. So we're going to take a big knife, turn this over. That's where that last bone is. You can see that last bone there, runs to about there going to slice through this pork belly. You should be able to slice straight through that. I'll keep that piece of pork belly for another time. Okay. So now we've got the belly, the rack of ribs. I'm going to take some of this excess fat off the bottom and turn it over. I'm going to take this skin off the top and then any of that um, thick fat off the top of it. So let's take that excess fat off the bottom first. Silver skin you can see there. When we slice these up, usually with a rack of ribs, people get three or four. Um, when we slice these pork belly ones up, they only usually get one or two ribs. So um, what you don't want is that that rib being full of fat. Or uh, well, if you don't like them at your barbecue, you can give them that rib, and they probably won't come back next time. But um, yeah. So that's a trick of the trade, that one. So, let's go through this. Take a bit more of that, that sinew fat off there. Uh, fat off the back. And the rest of that's pretty much meat. It'll round it down. So, you know, mate, the butcher bird's coming in for a feed. So, well, um, he's right behind me on that chair. Let's hope he doesn't land on that. Be interesting if he does, there he is. So, I don't know if we can see my old mate there, but um, he's just taking a big bit of meat straight out of me. Poor thing. Good on him. We feed him every morning, so he obviously thinks he can just hop up here when I'm doing my barbecue videos and take the meat as well. Okay, so just running that knife down that fat layer. 
can see that there's a bit of a seam there, I'm probably a bit above that seam, um, but it's, there's a bit of meat there that I don't really want to cut off, so you can see me start to get into that that meat section there. So I really want to keep that there. So once I run that front seam, I sort of want to run down the back seam as well. And try to take this off. Can keeping the skin whole, but taking as much fat with it as possible. There's lots more digging on it now, so if we get the, the straps there. So when you're doing this, if you angle your knife upwards a little bit, stops you cutting into that, that meat too much and you can take that cut off so just go this way with it yeah obviously with sharp knives you need to be careful at all times uh, Shouldn't. You can see that I'm pulling up and away from the knife as I'm cutting. I'm definitely not leaving my fingers in the road. Uh, any butchers out there just be laughing at me at this point in time, but that's okay. I'm not a butcher. Which is just like that. So it's all good. Keep that there. Just mostly skin there. Now you can trim that up and make some pork crackle out of it. Um, try not to waste too much of your meat that you don't use. Oh, geez, that got me. I might have to um, redo this video after I patch my finger up. Just talk about knife, knife um, safety and that one, just a little one, nothing bad, but. You can see how sharp that knife is when it slips out of there. Okay, so back into it. Obviously, we've um, stopped the bleeding. It's not a big cut, it was literally a tap. So, uh, but that knife's just sharp enough that if you tap it on your finger, um, it will cut you. So, you live and learn, stay there what I did. Uh, but we'll make sure we get that in the footage for you. Um, none of it got on any of the meat, so that's alright. Ed yeah, wanted to come and stand with us because she's pretty impressed that the um, butcher bag came and took, took a bit of the meat before. So um, that's her friend. She she comes out in the morning about 6 o'clock each morning and feeds it. Feeds don't you? What's he do? He his dad make the lunches in the morning and see if he wants to get some crust yeah a bit of crust or a bit of ham off the sandwiches so that's our finished product i mean you could you probably might just trim it a little bit longer but you don't need to see all that but the idea is now that you've got a rack of ribs maybe on the top ribs on the bottom so you can still slice people the ribs for dinner all right well um get the barbie started and, and get them on. But basically I wanted to show you that, just breaking that down into a um, pork belly rib rack. Cause you've seen me pork, you've seen me, sorry, pork, I hope not. Uh, you've seen me cook pork belly rib racks before. So I might probably do another video on them, but um, we might make it a fast video if I do. Yeah, that's the process. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Cheers.
load it up. So there's two beefies and there's two big bony pork bellies. Ten o'clock. left to do now but get the pig started and start enjoying my Saturday afternoon with a beer. Eww.